How's it going guys? This is Etzer and I just want to talk about some things that are going to go into 2.1 that I just think would be cool. I think the update's almost done, but I just think they'd be cool. So starting off, Geometry Dash is a pretty solid game already, but I think there could be a lot more. For example, when you get coins, it's pretty boring. Viper is covered it a lot. He says that coin placement's pretty lame, and I happen to agree with him there. And I think it would be awesome if you could get coins out of secret blocks. There would be secret blocks hidden around and you could jump and your cube would hit the block and a coin would come out or something like that. And then next I think it would also be cool if there was some more gameplay aspects so like you could add something like you could shoot blocks with maybe a laser or something and then there would also be monsters or bosses you could put in and they'd you go pew pew and it would kill them bosses. Yeah, but what about the leaderboards? The leaderboards are really lame right now, and they could use some work. So I thought that what if you added a level streak, and when you get a ton of levels, you get on leaderboard in a care package and stuff, and then add a red dot site so you know where you're jumping so you can get these level streaks. And then, but then also, what if you replace the coins with rings, and after you beat a ton of levels, and you get to face Egg Boy, and he says, gotta go fast. And then you could also add this feature where at the bottom corner of the level, there's a finisher button and your dude grows big boy muscles and goes, What's up, what's the fuck? Hang on, what if they added a feature where you could jump over spikes or something? Uh, you can't do that? That's copying the impossible game, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I think it would be pretty cool if he added in a feature where you could play an entire bootleg copy of Zelda Ocarina of Time inside of Geometry Dash 2.1. Honestly, I think it's pretty original. I don't think another game company has done that before, and I think RobTop would really knock it out of the park with that.